alaikum and welcome to Titli's Busy Kitchen with me, Titli Nihan. Does this always happen to you when you're cooking homemade burgers? <laughs> oh no, they're breaking up! Yes, I used to have that problem too. And then one night the mystic burger pixie came to me in a dream and shared his secret with me. And I'll share it with you. Whenever I'm making burgers, I always start with meat rather than mince because you don't really know what's in the mince. So I've got a kilogram of stewing steak here and I've cut off the excess fat. I don't really want that clogging up my arteries. So the first thing I'm going to do is mince the meat. So now I've got my minced meat. And at this point, you can add whatever you like into the minced meat, spices, herbs. I'm going to add into mine a quarter of a teaspoon each of salt and black pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika and half a teaspoon of cumin. Then I'll add in two teaspoons of garlic paste. And then a big bunch of freshly chopped coriander. And I'll mix this all together with my hands. Now the biggest problem with homemade burgers is that they tend to break up when you cook them. And many people add an egg, but actually there's a more elegant way of doing this. I'm going to mince this again. So here's my double minced minced meat. All the fibres in the meat have been well broken down and that's going to help the burger stick together. I'm going to make four burgers with this, so I'll just slice it into four. Knead the dough really well between your hands for about a minute. And after a few minutes work, I've ended up with some nice, big, juicy, fat beef burgers. I've put my burgers into two piles and each burger is separated by greaseproof paper. And I've got greaseproof paper on the bottom and greaseproof paper on the top. One of these piles is going to go into the freezer, I'll freeze them for later. And the other pile is going to go into the fridge for about an hour to allow the burgers to relax. Now to cook the burgers, you can either grill them or barbecue them or cook them in a pan as I'm going to do. However you cook them, you need a really good hot surface. So in goes the burger. Turn the burger about every 30 seconds. This burger has been cooking for about 10 minutes and I flipped it every 30 seconds. So you can see it's still very much intact and that's thanks to the double mincing. This is ready now, so I'll take it off the heat. Now I've got a sesame seed bun that I've toasted on both sides. I'm going to pop my burger onto the bun. And then I'm going to have a cheeseburger, so I'm going to put a slice of cheese. This is not processed cheese, this is actually proper cheese that comes in a slice. And I'm just going to pop it onto the grill to melt the cheese. Now that the cheese has melted a bit, I'm going to put some sliced gherkin on there and a couple of slices of tomato and then the top I've spread with mayonnaise. So there it is, the Tickly Cheese Mega Whopper Mac. I'm loving it. So go forth, brave burger makers, banish broken burgers from this world, and enjoy your Titley Cheese Mega Whopper Max. So join me next time in Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. Until next time, Khuda Hafiz.